all right guys so welcome back to my channel and today i really don't have like a concept on this video i didn't storyboard it i didn't plan it i just know that i have to make a video for the week and today is just gonna be real raw and whatever is like fresh on my mind right now so it's more like a vlog than a nursing video with um, well thought out concepts and things like that so it's just more of a vlog so if you kind of want to just skip through and hear the parts that are interesting to you then go go for it feel free um, probably not gonna edit too much just because this week has been this week has been hell and excuse my vocabulary for describing the week but it's been hell already uh first week back in nursing school and you know i don't know what it is but my motivation just it just it's it's dry right now but i've discussed with a lot of my classmates and i'm not the only one that has uh decreased motivation right now to do schoolwork or to have energy in the class I just we don't know what it is it's probably just like that new year um, vibe just getting back from the holidays and um, being lazy the time change and yada yada so today uh, I just want to kind of keep it real talk about some things uh, and just vlog so if vlogging isn't your cup of tea if you want to hear the goods and the deeds and the tips and the tricks this is not the video this is just me talking with no outline of what i'm going to say so all right so i legit just got home from the longest day at school um i'm used to long days i work 12 hour shifts but today was just it was very long um staying on my feet a lot and uh, so today was basically lab for fundamentals. Um, fundamentals is more of your CNA nursing course. Uh, it's the nursing course where you learn um, CNA type stuff. So like bed changes, bed baths, feeding, um, ambulatory uh, skills, Whatever you think a CNA might do is pretty much what I'm learning in this class. Um, this class also has clinicals that are going to start on week four um, every other Mondays for 12 hours. So I'm going to be very, very busy. I'm going to be probably very tired on top of work, on top of classwork, my daughter, etc. So um, I just think like this semester is going to be gonna be draining um, but I'm excited because I'm actually really doing like hands-on things rather than writing papers and sitting in class so this is exciting but today was very very long today was different I knew coming into class what we were doing but I think the way that I prepared in my head was completely different the day did not play out the way that I thought it was going to so we got to class and it was like a quick introduction and we jumped right into bed baths and um, occupied bed changing and we were doing that for over an hour. Um, rotated we went and did glucose um, reading and um, diabetes management hand washing. We were there about another hour and a half or so. And I guess we finished early, so we jumped on the computer and completed our ATIs. We went to lunch, came back, did more rotations that included feeding, and uh, we got to feed each other and pretend that we were blind with the little mask over our face. So, you know, and everyone's got to take turns getting checked off. So. If you've already gone and gotten checked off, then you're basically waiting for the whole class to finish. So that's basically what I was doing today on top of like a whole head to toe assessment that I did a couple quarters ago when I took health assessments. So remembering my full head to toe assessment, 
having to perform that in front of the instructor and get checked off again. So today has been very vigorous. I haven't gotten any reading done. I haven't really looked at my phone. I haven't really been on social media, um, which is, it's whatever. I like, I really, I'm not stressing it. Um, it was just getting through today because I haven't been sleeping very good lately and I'm, I'm like mentally drained. I'm physically drained from today. Um, I forgot my lunch at home. I packed an extensive lunch because I knew today was going to be long and I forget it on the kitchen counter. So I ended up having to get convenient food for lunch. Um, so I'm just kind of like, ugh, my mood is blah and I'm tired. I just, I just got home. I showered and I had obligations tonight. I had plans and I'm more than likely probably going to cancel just because I'm drained. I'm like, I'm done. My body is like saying no. My mind is saying no. And I think I need sleep. And I think that I just need to decompress. I need to like, I'm feeling very not myself right now. And it's only week one out of 12. So... What is that telling me right now? <laughs> if I'm already feeling like this on week one and I have like 11 more weeks of this. Ugh, so, but anyways, so um, going into fundamentals, that's what's going to look like. My schedules. I have it all planned out in my planner and I'll show you guys real quick. So for the month of January, as you can see every day is like filled with something whether it be work whether it be school um just something um i really have like two days of the month where i have no work no school scheduled nothing planned but who's to say on those days i won't be studying and catching up on sleep or work so uh, schoolwork so who knows but um yeah nothing is like really planned so that's that and um I took the time on just filling out my planner for like the next 12 weeks um with both my school and work schedule so it's looking like the month of January is gonna be very overwhelming for me yeah, so that's that with the whole planner thing. I won't bore you guys about that, but I'm pretty sure you already know, like, nursing school is very time-consuming and um, no room for play. But um, so with fundamentals, we've got a lot of, like, resources that we're going to be using um, that are free on, um, like, web books, e-text or whatever they're called. Um, I'm very old school, so I went and took the liberty of renting off Amazon the books that we're going to be using and um, so that I could just have a copy in front of me because I can't stand e-text. I cannot stand online books. Yes, they are convenient um, and I appreciate that I'm able to have it on my phone, have it on my laptop, bring it with me to work wherever but um i really appreciate the i really appreciate just a book just a book in my hand that i i can hold i can carry with me like that's just something that i'm used to so um i took the liberty of ordering uh this book it's actually a workbook um the fundamental success. So this is just question and answer. So um, teacher wants us to do 50 and collect out questions a day related to the material that we're doing for that week. So uh, this book is over 500 pages of just and collect style questions on fundamentals and I rented it off Amazon for 10 bucks and I have to give it back in May. So I just saw it it was a great investment. Um, I can flip through the pages 
do some questions throughout the day and really work on my materials. So I felt like that was a great investment for this class. Um, 10 bucks, you can't beat that. So yeah, so um, with fundamentals, it's really just, so far it's critical thinking. Um, it's reading your chapters. Um, you know, every school's different, every class is different. Um, but for me in particular, it's going to be critical thinking, NCLEX style questions, reading, and um, going to clinicals and doing the clinical work. Uh, there is a end of class project, which is basically a care plan. So I have to pick a patient, write a care plan, and turn in on week, I think, 11. It's basically it. It's not overwhelming in the sense that I'm going to be super busy with schoolwork, but it's overwhelming in the sense that I have to understand what I'm reading and apply it in these questions that are going to be on my exams. And keep in mind the 78% rule of pass or fail. So I have to have a 78% in the class and I have to have a 78% testing average, and those averages are separate. So um, on top of making it on time to clinical every morning, I have to be there at 6.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., um, making it on time to class, being in class, being present, uh, not only being physically present, but being mentally present, making sure that I get enough sleep, um, making sure that I bring my lunch and I don't forget it, um, yeah, and that's just things that I can do to keep myself sane for the next 11, 12 weeks. So that's about it. Um, with fundamentals, I mean, I'll keep you guys updated as the class goes on. Uh, right now we just, we just started. So, um, today was lab and we did those skill checkoffs. I have two more lab classes over the next two weeks that are gonna go all day and we're gonna just be doing skill checkoffs. So starting on week four is when I start my clinicals. And clinicals, you know, I mean, you know what a clinical is. You go to wherever they send you and you work basically what it's gonna be. So, side note, um, I had to take my advice, my own advice from my last video. Um, I'm very good at giving advice, but I'm normally not one to take it. So, but I took my own advice and I really just didn't want to bring 2019 things into 2020, um, especially uh, writing out my schedule and my planner made me take a step back and be like, whoa, like this is getting real. This is getting serious. Um, and there are areas in my life that I feel like I might be more focused on than school. So um, I took a step back and I had to evaluate some things in my life um, and think about whether or not it's worth any more of my time. Um, so I took my own advice and I sat down, I rolled out the areas in my life that I spend time on. So for example, school, work, friends, uh, TV, whatever, whatever it is that I spend time on. I, I wrote those things out. Um, I'm not going to get too much into my personal life because that's not me. And I'm not going to get too much into detail about what exactly it is, but I do want to keep things real and updated with you guys. So I wrote down things in areas of my life, people, etc. And I took a step back and I said, okay, you know what? What areas are bothering me the most? Or what areas am I lacking in? What areas can I give more? Um, so there were a couple of things that pointed out to me. And I had to take a step back and be like, can I change anything? What exactly is bothering me? Where, where are these things going? And do they have a purpose? Do they have an end result? Um, is there something I can change about those things? If not then why am I still giving my energy to it? Because my energy is very valuable. Um, you can see it in this video. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm ready for bed. It's a Friday night. The world is mine. And all I want to do is lay down. So 
um, I had to look at areas in my life and be like, are these areas a waste of my time? Are they worth it? Where, where are they leading me? So um, I unfortunately had to drop a certain area in my life. And that area was the dating aspect. I can't put any more of myself into something that is not going to go anywhere. It's just put a time limit on whatever it is I'm putting my own energy in. Um, so that's more of a mental time limit. I know everyone's uh, timing is different. I know everyone's timeline of how they want things are different. But for me, um, it just it just so turned out that the time I was putting into this was uh, running out. My patience was running out and it just didn't seem like it was going anywhere. It didn't seem like I was getting much out of it. Um, and in the long run, I didn't want to get hurt. So, and I also didn't want to carry the anxiety and um, the mental instability into into my classwork, so into class. Um, I really wanted to take my own advice that I gave you guys from my last video and really apply it to my own life. And that's what I did. And I'm not saying it was easy. It was, it was a little tough. Um, it was not something that I thought I really was gonna do, but I had to because in the end, who, who am I hurting? Am I hurting the other person or am I hurting myself by staying and waiting on what? What am I waiting on? Because it's, you know, I, I can't keep putting in time and energy into something that's not going anywhere. So um, I took my own advice, you guys, and uh, it was tough. It was tough. It's tough taking your own advice. It's tough swallowing that hard pill. But um, I'm a firm believer in whatever is meant to be will be. So if that was meant to be, it would have been. And if it's still meant to be, it will be. And if not, then it is what it is. Um, but I think that for now, um, my main focus is school. And um, whatever happens, happens, you know, I'm not going to stress it. So um, I don't want to sound like I didn't care because I cared, but uh, I care a little bit more about myself and how I feel. So um, I can't put in time into anything that doesn't have an end result. Um, so that particular thing, I didn't feel like the result was what I wanted it to be. Um, so I let it go and that's with anything. So with school, there's an end result. There's a, there's an end result. I'm going to graduate. I'm going to have a career. Um, so that's my main focus. But, um, with that being said, you guys, I'm just going to end it here. Um, pretty tired and, uh, I may or may not go out tonight. I don't know, but, um, my phone's battery died. Okay. Um, but yeah, with that, um, got a couple chapters I should read, but I really just want to lay down. So, um, but thank you for watching. And, uh, like I said, this video is more of a vlog. If you did watch it, if you watched all of it, thank you. If you skimmed through it, thank you for skimming through it. I, I greatly appreciate anything. Um, but yeah, there's more to come, you guys. So, um, just tonight I wanted to show you guys I'm here and I'm in still nursing school and I'm working toward my goal. So thanks so much, you guys like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.